All right, let's give this definite integral a try with u substitution. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I don't like seeing that dx up in the numerator, so what I'm going to do is simply rewrite that as a 1 up in our numerator, 5x plus 4 with the dx over on the side. Personal preference on that, I get it. All right, now why I say we have to use u substitution is um, we don't know how to integrate it in its current state where it is right now can't split it apart, make it two separate fractions, anything like that. So instead, let's go ahead and pick out u to be our entire denominator. So I'm picking 5x plus 4 for our denominator. Next, we want to take the derivative. So du goes on this side. We have 5dx on the right-hand side. All right, 5x, the derivative is 5. 4, the derivative is plus 0 there. Uh, but we always put a dx on that side. All right, so... Taking a look here, the entire denominator is going to get replaced with a u. We want to replace everything else in there with, uh, in terms of u. So right now we have a dx. Well, we have a dx in this equation down here, but we don't have a 5 in the original problem. So let's rearrange this equation and move the 5 to the other side real quickly. That'll get us dx on one side. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start replacing things in. Now we already mentioned that we can replace the denominator with u. And in dx's spot, I'm going to replace dx with that bottom equation, 1 fifth du. Now typically we put the du at the end. A constant can be placed out in front. All right. The only other thing that I don't have going on right now is I don't have bounds of integration, you may notice. See, I had x values at the beginning. And 2 was an x value. And 0 was an x value at the beginning. But now our x's are gone. We're in terms of u, so we need to replace those bounds of integration with values of u. So where I go to that is I go to the let statement where our, we said u is equal to 5x plus 4. So I can find a u value by replacing the x with a 2 for our upper bound. So like 10 plus 4 makes 14. So that's going to go as our upper bound. And then the lower bound is when we replace into the let statement with a 0. So we're going to get 4 for a lower bound. All right, all that remains now is first we want to integrate. We're going to bring the 1 fifth along. Take the antiderivative of 1 over u. So that's going to be the natural log of the absolute value of u. And this is going to be evaluated because it's a definite integral between 4 and 14. We don't have to plug back in with our x's this time because we've gone ahead and replaced our bounds of integration with the 4 and the 14. So to finish this up, we'll go ahead and say, well, this is 1 fifth natural log of the absolute value of 14 minus 1 fifth times the natural log of the absolute value of 4. That's not going to work out to be a nice solution. That's an exact solution, exactly how it's written. If you needed an approximation, you could get your calculator out and punch that into your calculator to get an approximation. But I hope this helps out. Good luck as you're working on u-substitution.